transferred out of our department and we're going to do that with the use of units. To consider the units then, we have the total units that we need to account for, but some of these units are partially completed. So then we got to think, okay, well, if they're partially completed, there's two ways that we can consider the partially completed uh, numbers. One, materials, are they partially completed in terms of the material involved? And two, the conversion, are they partially completed in terms of conversion? Now you might think, hey, there's three things involved in inventory materials, direct labor, and the overhead. But note, we only have two things we're considering here, and that's because we're combining together the conversion, which is the direct labor and the overhead. So we're combining those things together so that we only have two things we have to consider. So we have the utilities, units, and then the percentage completed with regard to materials of the same 330 total units, and then the percent completed with regard to the conversion of these same 330 units. So that's gonna be the, the data that we have here. 40% complete for the work in process in June 1st, 20% com complete for uh, the uh, complete conversion costs, the direct labor and the overhead. So we have 330 total units. The uh, amount that's gonna be complete, completed for materials and conversion is always gonna be something equal or less than that. It can't ever be more than that. Uh, the 330 total units that we're accounting for. And then we're gonna do the same for the ending process here. So the units that are started